Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from the for the week of March 16th. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Okay, Aquarius. So let's pull let's pull some cards for love. And then we'll pull cards for career and finance. Whatever the cards want to tell us in regards to love. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Aquarius with, with a love message. Okay, we have the Emperor. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Aries, um, maybe an older per, older guy, older woman. That's male energies. Um, maybe an older man. Uh... Yeah, he could be established, could have his own business or several investments. Um, but definitely an established person. Okay. Okay, these two cards, the world and the six of cups. Wow. Um, it looks like you've met maybe your, your soulmate or someone that could be someone you have a past life relation to, if you believe in that. Someone who could be really good for you, really good for you in the long run, in the long term. Um, someone who uh, could be Taurus, could be Aquarius, could be Leo, could be Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be anybody. Um, You're feeling a real strong connection to this person. This could be fairly new. But you're feeling a real connection to this person. And I think it's because of the past life. Maybe relation here. Or this is what, or this is who you pray for. Manifest or whatever you want to call it. This is the universe's gift to you. You've achieved a certain level. And you've gone on. And it's now time for you to reap the rewards of having been having gone through you know the journey the fool's journey here for some of you so we got temperance we have nine of pentacles and a ten of cups so either your person is seeing you as the idealistic person for them um yeah well they're seeing this as maybe like a yin and yang type of relationship you get along very well it's very easy energy. You guys may be on the outs. I don't see a whole bunch of communication here. Or there's just something is stagnant here. You could be dealing with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ten of Cups here. This person is very happy with you or you with them or it's mutual. Um... Let's see. Something happened to the point where this person feels like they want to come in and apologize. They want to compromise. They want to make things work. Something got off, off course here. But they understand that you are who or what makes them. You are the person that makes them happy. Okay. Okay. Being with you, being around you, they get maybe a lot of attention and recognition. This is a person who knows a lot of people, who is maybe over a lot of people, who uh, deals with a lot of moving parts in their business or their job. Um, this is a person who has a really good heart, um, but at the same time, they they um, they rule with that that you know stern energy um, they're not going to be move, moved or they're not movable or what it, what it is they believe and what they're good at and what they've seen results in um, they may be seeing you as the, their counterpart something happened here what's going on for Aquarius the king of wands have an, okay another person showing up could be Aries Sagittarius Leo cancer male um Somebody desires you. They they see you. They desire you. They want you. They're going to go after you. Or they're going after you. Or coming after you. Ace of Wands. Yeah. This is a person you may have had sexual relation 
with or you want to but yeah there's something some spark has been um lit here uh you they they see you as very your energy is good it, you're dynamic you're um charismatic outgoing um they see the they see that this could be long term with you in regards to you know health wealth and happiness like it could it could really work the five of cups came out um but something could be somebody's hesitating before making some sort of decision maybe around a love affair maybe around some a drama that that either happened or is happening um someone things didn't turn out exactly how this person or maybe you Aquarius picture uh, someone is thinking that all is lost but they have to understand that they still have those two other cups where they can still make do um, reconcile come together yes eight of, eight of swords somebody's all up in their head about something something happened there was um, something around sex intimacy maybe money exchange or large sums of money or other people's money something is um making someone feel stuck someone's also could be in jail things didn't turn out in regards to how maybe a, a sentence is not being rendered or it wasn't this, the, the sentence that you expected or the release date has been pushed back um but someone is stuck mentally or either physically um or both uh something didn't turn out the, and then we have the justice card in the eight of somebody's got to do more time more if you're in jail um if you're not in jail somebody did something right could be somebody that has Libra in their chart or Gemini um someone did something and it's making them mentally stuck it's making them mentally stuck um they did something and now they have to apologize or they have to make the situation yeah they're gonna make the situation right they have to put some work in here maybe on themselves um but whatever it is they have to apologize all right let's get some advice for you aquarius it looks like there's someone here who views you in a very good light there might have been some you guys got off course here but this person wants to come back um and they will apologize um this person has other people or had other people um it interfered with what you guys were building and now it's about getting back on course if they want to make it right if they want to apologize Aquarius let's get your best advice here what's the advice for Aquarius um, seven of wands stand your ground though don't be moved easily moved or pushed um, to accept just whatever uh, in this relationship in this marriage in this uh, business um, how you are coming off to another is defending yourself is um blocking blocking energy blocking any recognition coming from this person until they until they explain themselves explain what's going on between you and you and them You have six of swords. This is your advice. Just move in the energy of peace, calmness, stillness. Um, take a vacation if you need to. Move away from the turbulence and the drama that may be ensued or or will ensue here. Move. It says move. This is your best course of advice. Eight of cups. Wow. Eight of cups. Yeah. Six of swords. Eight of cups move away from what is not fulfilling you i think this is your lesson here 
you know if you know it's not what you want it's not what you can work with you have to move away you have to emotionally um, take back your power that is people are afraid to love people are afraid to open up people are afraid to let people into their heart space because people have been hurt before right and it just really sucks it's a it's an unexplainable hurt when when your heart your emotions are, are hurt um but it takes you to a place of um this this you know distrust and um just being caged but you know when you have really healed and reconciled that energy when you are not afraid to love when you're not afraid to open your heart space because if you open your heart space and you get energy that is adverse to what you are giving out you can immediately eight of cups abandon ship this talks about abandonment you can immediately take your eight cups your emotions that you invested here and walk away that is true emotional maturity it's not that you're going to be upset it's not that you're going to hoop and holler it's just that if i continue to give you my energy my emotional uh, investment uh, and i get nothing in return it's not reciprocating then i am emotionally so emotionally mature that i can just withdraw i can say okay you know I, I called you every morning you didn't seem like you wanted to talk or you didn't answer or you did you know whatever you can start to cut things out because it's not reciprocating so the cards are telling you Aquarius if something is not reciprocating you have to be strong enough the eights are about governing the strength card you have, have the strength to walk away to walk away from this entanglement you might have merged yourself with this person this energy yeah it's oh it could be a cancer we got the chariot card the three of pentacles it says eight of cups put yourself first the, the chariot carries only one so move forward you got three moving cards six some of you could be moving that that could be what you need to be focused on moving like a physical move um, do know that tough times, hard times are over. Um, move forward, Aquarius. Um, put yourself first. Um, make sure that everything is direct, directly beneficial for you first. Especially when dealing with new people and, and not knowing how they operate in connection. Make sure you feel good about things first. Before you, you know, um, either offer or you accept um you know you accept things and or you say yes to things but it doesn't feel good to you okay so make sure everything is directly beneficial to you it says that some some beneficial change is here three of pentacles you may get a lot of recognition at work in work in working with others three of pentacles says that you may get um a lot of people patronizing your work or whatever it is you do uh, let's see king of swords and the eight of swords somebody's stuck on you or you stuck on them is this Aquarius or is this someone else it's Aquarius or this someone else um, don't feel stuck Aquarius you have this you you got this five of one it's a lot going on it's a lot of opposition judgment card seven of pentacles the empress at the bottom of the deck someone could want to really partner with you marry you they're looking at you and they're looking at what you guys have and they want to take it to the next level you have the empress at the bottom of the deck and then we have the emperor to start so this once again this could be your divine counterpart or someone of that nature um 
they definitely want to move forward with you they want to have something with you let's get some angel answers advice in here it's as they put you up on a pedestal even if they have other women other men whatever you are the empress to them you are number one no one or yeah no one is like you okay um let's see what's the advice for aquarius here um the ending is just the beginning is what i'm hearing for some of you okay advice for it's up to you aquarius what do you want i think you can have whatever whatever it is you want here abundance not the right time you have a yes answer ask your angels and take action all right so you know we clarify our yes answers here at the channel so let's go ahead and do that we have a peaceful resolution okay um so peaceful resolution this sometimes it's not dissolution like you guys are not going to be together anymore it's just that like I said, it looks like in the cards, like there needs to be an apology made or some offer made here where you guys can reconcile or rectify, have some peaceful resolution here, um, either with the person you're dealing with or a friend, family. Um, so let's clarify our yes answers here. Okay. It's a yes answer for Aquarius. It's a yes answer for Aquarius. Unexpected money. Burden will be released. You will be able to move if you are looking to move. And there will be some unexpected money. Wow, the Ten of Diamonds. You guys may be getting married or partnering with somebody here. Wow, okay, what is one more card for this yes answer? One more card. I almost don't want to pull one. Yep, five of spades. Either people are going to be jealous, there's someone who's going to interfere, or, or there was interference in some connection. Something happened here, once again, some unexpected bad event, or yeah, you know, something took place. It shifted the energy and it looks like like I said somebody needs to come and um, apologize or something of that nature somebody needs to take action okay um, very very interesting Aquarius uh, let's see I'm gonna pull one more card. five of swords for this game. so people will be jealous there will, some people will try to interfere wow three of spades um that talks about infidelity divorce so if if you have if the question is was there or is there a third party in your marriage yes Wow, the Ten of Cups and the Three of Clubs. Somebody's, somebody wants to ask for forgiveness. They need to forgive themselves and others. Maybe for putting a third party in some marital situation. Somebody is dealing with re resentment and regret. But needing to make, wow, it's another three. But needing to make um, plans for the future, decisions for the future. Uh, someone could be having some legal issues, like things didn't go expected um, legally. Someone could have been keeping a, like they've had a long term affair. This could be you with somebody else who's married, Aquarius. Or if you are married, maybe your your partner is having some long-term affair. Or this is you. Um, damn. Y'all got all four. 
Aquarius. Wow. For some of you, yes, your partner has been keeping somebody else, but they see long-term happiness, stability with you. They even, for some of you, they even want to marry you, get engaged, or move in together. They want to do something kind of monumental with you. Um, monumental in the space of, you know, between two strangers that are getting to know each other. Um, what? Okay, I have to clarify. What are all these threes? You could be the other woman and you don't even know it, Aquarius. Or you, you had a feeling that there were other parties, but you didn't know if you were first or you were second or last. Um, wow. Okay, what are all these threes? With this new person... It, it was a lot of drama. It was a lot of, you know, somebody keeping options open. But it looks like they want to put that down now, Aquarius. Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords? Are they playing mind games? Or, or they, yeah, they were holding something back. The Knight of Swords, it looks like they may come out and say it. They were confused about who they wanted, but it looks like they, they could be choosing you, Aquarius. Queen of Wands, Six of Wands. Who is this person that they're choosing? The Five of Swords. So it could be you, Aquarius. Could be a Gemini. They could be giving the two parties. They may be offering an apology and wanting to move forward, but still holding on to toxic energy. Still holding on to secrets and lies. It could be a King of Cups. He likes to keep exes around. Yeah, but they feel like with you. Yeah, they're trying to manifest something with you. They they want you in their space. They want you with them. They love being with you. They like your energy. But they also don't want to let go of... They don't, don't want to choose who to be with. Even though you may be standing your ground and asking about what is all this secrecy and hidden things. They may even want to marry you. Once again, back to this. Like they fantasize about it. About taking that leap of faith here. Because they, they recognize how special you are. And they understand that this relationship is getting serious. And that it could be for the long term. But something unexpected happened here with the tower. Or they unexpectedly... Or they just realize that they really, really love you. You know, men fall in love in absence. It looks like somebody is cutting somebody off. Yeah, they want to partner with you, Aquarius. They feel, wow. Once again, they want to marry you. Back to engagement and, and marriage. Um, someone just can't get over their childish or long-standing negative or toxic behavior. Good luck, Aquarius. Uh, it doesn't look like this person is bad, bad, but they need to get over some things before they can move forward with you or anybody else for, for that part. For that... Yeah, for the most part. Um, Aquarius, I hope that the reading reson resonated with you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Thank you for being here. Um, also, take advantage of the text question. You can text a question to the number below. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device and pay for it on your mobile device. Um, you can also request a reading and um, you can get on the phone with me or it can be a video recorded reading. Make sure you're reading when you're booking your reading. What type of reading it says, okay? Alright, so thank you guys. Take care. Many blessings to you. Bye.